From newstalkzb.co.nz It's Mike Hosking. It is 13 minutes past eight. Uh, for a person who seems to have been around forever, and not in a bad way, Bell is Bickrunger's fourth album. <laughs> It is out this week, and Beck Runga is with us. Lovely to see you Hi. again. Lovely to see you too. And is it fourth or fifth? Because I was counting. Uh, 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 there's, there's drive. Yeah. Beautiful collision. Mm-hmm. Birds. Yes. And do you count trying to remember everything or not? Not really. It's a, so that's a not a, sides, really. So that's not an album. Oh, no. So this is only your fourth. It's my only my fourth. Out yeah. of how how long have you been around? Fifteen. I've been around for thirty five years. Well, not on earth. I mean, <laughs> yeah. as, as, a, as, a, as a as a performing artist. Um, probably fifteen. So prolific's yeah. not the word, is it? Really? Not at all. I'm not. But it's like pulling teeth writing songs for me. <laughs> but you enjoy it or not? Do I enjoy it? Of course, yeah, I do. I do really. But the problem is, I, I'm just um, a perfectionist, so and I, I, my heart has to be in it. So if I don't um, come up with something good, I don't do it. And uh, it's been four or five years of looking after a kid, and um, my son's four now, and I just th- thought it was better I just leave music alone for a bit. I understand the child. We'll talk about him in just a couple of moments. But 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 big gaps between all the albums, really. You just, yeah, you're, as you're, if it was an excuse. Yeah, I was just going to say, don't, 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 don't use the kid as an excuse. Yeah, yeah. You've always been slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, but as as the success has come along, don't don't the record companies and all of that, the public go, where, where, come on, where's the next one? What what's going on? I don't know. I'm not sure what speed I'm supposed to work at, but um, I definitely can't fake it. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, a lot of people can, you know, a lot of people are natural performers, um, but I'm, I guess people know me to be like a singer-songwriter, it's supposedly trying to make something that's um, honest and, you know, authentic. It doesn't It doesn't sort of, you can't rush it. I and, and you work a song and rework it and work it and rework it and get it right? Pretty much. Yeah, so you're a what, perfectionist. That's what I'm doing when you don't see me. <laughs> yeah. And so, and having children or yes. a, as, a, as a child. Yeah. Is he musical by the way? Uh, yeah, he is. He, he he sings he sings really well and yeah, but he I don't think he wants to do music, thank goodness. What have you asked him? What's he want to be a doctor? He wants to be a toy maker. <laughs> like Father Christmas. <laughs> yeah, he wants to be Father Christmas. <laughs> Your guitar, and I am always fascinated by the instruments that people bring into us, is is, is a beautiful and people can go to the webcam by the way, uh, and, and, and have a look. The um it's a beautiful nineteen fifty Eight. Martin. Martin. Mm. And not only is it a 1958 Martin, it's a, it's a Martinet. It's a mini one. It's, well, a, it's, tiny. it's yeah. a little wee one. And that must yeah. be rare. Uh, possibly. Yeah, I guess, I guess it could be rare. I because the Ma- Martin's Martin. the guitar, isn't it? I mean, it's it the, the, it's the it's, if you want a guitar, you have a Martin guitar. It's like yeah. a Rolls Royce. I guess, yes. That's Does great. it sound different? Is there something about it? Well, it sounds a little barky. In its day, this probably would have just been like a songwriter's guitar. It sounds like a country guitar to me. You know? But it's uh, it's not a, it wouldn't have been an expensive one in its day, but it's still special because yeah, it's. It'd strange. be it'd be worth a fortune now though, wouldn't Possibly, it? Possibly, yeah. And will you hold that forever? I mean, are, are instruments important to you. I mean, do they age with you? They're beautiful I, things. Yeah, I, I long learnt the lesson never to sell an instrument, and no matter how much you don't want to own it anymore, it's you know at some point it's gonna. In fact, guitars appreciate you know supposedly more than well I don't know they do. Well, have you seen Willie Nelson's guitar? It's so old he's worn a hole in it. Oh, right on, it's yeah. literally worn a hole in it Is because it right? you know and he'd never play with anything else. The co-writing and you co-write on this album and much has been made of this for the first time. Right. How did that all come about? Uh, well, that was because I, I couldn't write when I, I mean I really needed to write and I, I didn't know that I would ever would. So after my son was born, so I just asked my publisher to set me up with some writers and just you know treat it like a job because I hadn't really treated it like a job before. And maybe with motherhood, you have to allot time to yourself, like you, I don't know. Yeah, like a, like a job. So and so they went and sorted you out some writers mm-hmm. and said, "Here are some writers. Go mm-hmm. meet them." Yeah, yeah. And who were they? And were they nice? Did you like them? Did they you get on? They were all really nice. Yeah, and um, most of them were uh, well. There was the Minchicks guys and a guy called Lawrence Arabia, um, and one of the guys from Evermore. But we we actually did really well. We wrote a lot. Like we, we wrote a lot of stuff, and um, you know, first single "Hello Hello" was was co-written with. One of the guys from Evermore. Which is a smash hit. Is and it? It's, well, of course, well, of course it is. It's a brilliant, it's one of those beautiful summer songs, isn't it? Oh, it's, cool. it's got a yeah. classic international summer song sort of feel, doesn't oh, cool. it? Thanks. Lovely, yeah. uplifting sort of song. Don't you think? Uh, uh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that's a nice thing to say. Well, you're going to, um, you're going to play it for us too. And Cody Nielsen team seems to have been the one that's worked out the best. Mm. So what happened there? 
Um, he ended up producing my record because, you know, um, I also produce, I, I've always produced my own records. Actually, that's why they take so long because no one needs to do that. I mean, the Beatles don't do that. You know, who no. produces their own record and chases their tail and makes themselves crazy with it? So, yeah, I just thought, okay, that's stupid. So um, I got Cody to produce this one. And so you're just a like job. a control freak as well. You write, Possibly, you write yeah. your own songs, yeah. produce your own songs, don't want to work with I anybody. Just don't trust anyone. <laughs> but, now, but now you do. So has this been a cathartic experience for you that there are real people out there that can actually help you and some Massive of them are nice and yes yeah absolutely yeah, and the yeah, next no, thing no. you'll do is you form a band it'll be a nine piece and you'll be on the road <laughs> yeah you're on the road at the moment are you in the tour at the moment are you in the middle of the we tour we start the church tour on Thursday we're going to Whangarei um, on Thursday and uh, then we're off we're away on we're touring churches for a whole month it's great it's such a cool thing to do and That's you take right. your little boy on the road or no yep for some of it fantastic and, yeah, what sure. a wonderful life that'll be yeah it's cool Don't you re- does he realise how lucky he is or he, mm. did, he wouldn't have a clue I think he does yeah, does no, he? I he I think he does because four's a cool age four, four they get that personality thing uh, you start to communicate nicely with yeah. them <laughs> they can answer you they ask questions yeah. they're aware of the world and what's going on oh, and all yeah. that sort of thing eh? yeah he's so cool uh, he never, nothing negative comes out of his mouth he's only ever like mama that was a great day today you know he's always saying really like sweet happy things he's isn't cool. that lovely now, so the, so the churches, why the churches? Uh, because they're beautiful and um, they sound good. And yeah, well, it was a run that we did in 2004 and it did really well. And Yeah, because yeah. you're doing the vineyards. Are you doing the vineyards again or no? I'm not doing that this year, but um, that's still a run as well. You know, there's lots of um, these tours in New Zealand now. Fantastic. So it's so lovely to see you because it, what's going to be like nine, ten years before your next album? So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so you're going to sing... Hello, hello, hello for us. Hello, hello, yeah. hello. Yeah, sure. Here we go. Okay. Back wronger. Don't tell me hello, hello. But everything you say sounds like goodbye. 